Hi everyone, nowadays we are really used to work remotely across the world. Now, if you planning to schedule a meeting with colleagues based on other location with different time zones, it's quite challenging to find the right time. Of course, you can Google this information before the meeting, but there should be a better way to do it. I'll show you in this video how you can add multiple time zones in Outlook so you can easily, with few clicks, create a meeting with your colleagues collaborating worldwide. Ok, let's get started. Here I am in office.com. Let's start to click on the icon Outlook in order to show you how you can manage multiple time zones in the web version of Outlook. In the right corner you can find settings. Let's click on this link and then on view all Outlook settings. Finally calendar and then here you can find the section time zones. Recently Microsoft has added the ability to add multiple time zones in the web version of Outlook. So this is my current time zone. If you want you can change it or this can change if you are traveling automatically. Now, let's say that I want to add two additional time zones because I'm collaborating with two different teams. One is based in New York and the other one is in Istanbul. Now, let me click on add time zone. Here I can search the city. It's extremely easy to add a new time zone. Let me add the New York and here you can see the time zone. Eastern time, US and Canada. Then you can apply a label if you want. It makes sense here add the location or, or the time zone. I will add AT and then I'm going to add another one which is, as I mentioned before, Istanbul. Here we go, Istanbul and we can see the time zone AAT. I'm going to add it. Then you can decide if you want to move up this third time zone or if you want to remove it or if you want to hide this time zone in the calendar but I want to show it because this will help me during the creation of new meetings. Now let's click on the button save to confirm. Now let me close the panel and let me jump on the calendar. Here I have a board view in my calendar. Let me change it because the time multiple time zone appears when you deal with week and day. So let's jump now on the week view and here, as you can see, I have the three different time zones. I have my time zone, the New York time zone and the Istanbul time zone. So this will really help me to define which time could be the better one for everyone. What to do next to take advantage of this feature in Outlook for desktop is going on File and then on Options. In calendar you can find the time zones sections. Here the first time zone identify your time zone. So it makes sense to name the, the label home. Then we can turn on a second time zone and this would be the Esther, Esther time and then a new one. Let me set the second. This would be Esther time and then I'm going to add the EET which is the time zone for Istanbul. There we go. Also tap, I can click now on OK and let's open the calendar. So you have just go on the week as I mentioned it, because this feature is available in the week and in the day view, of course in the work week as well. But let's set the week and here we go. I have the three time zones here available. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this tip in Outlook, how to handle multiple time zones. If yes, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.